Uh, so here we are in Madrid in an uh, interesting space. Uh, let's find out more about it. So it was once a tobacco factory. Um, we're going to try and get through to the garden now. If we can. And as you can see, there's a lot of space. There's space they haven't opened yet. Um, and there's some groups that are talking about opening it now. So, but because there's the politics um, or the people behind the decisions, it's a little bit divided. We don't know if they're going to be able to open that or not. The issue is, it's not, it was squatted. Um, well, once upon a time, it was a tobacco factory. Yeah. And then it lay abandoned for, I don't know how many years, over 10 years. So they came in and they squatted it. And they decided, because of the scale, I suppose, of the project, they wanted to apply officially, careful, there's a step, officially for permission to use it as kind of a social center for all sorts of free activities. Um, so the local council gave them that uh, session, what would you call that, session or cedido? Um, like gave so they've got permission, permission like, uh, they're allowed to, to officially be here. Yeah, to officially be here. But so it's council property essentially. Yeah, basically, which also creates issues from, for people who I suppose were here from the start who weren't interested in getting that kind of permission. Right. Um, so there's some kind of tensions there, I suppose, but it's still working. I mean, there's still loads of workshops going on. There is a bar that charges money, uh, which also goes against the, a lot of the squatters' ideas, I suppose, in this city, which is, you know, anti-capitalist, and uh, they justify it with paying electricity and stuff like that. Yeah. So, I mean, it's everyone's... It's funny the politics of squats seems to be the same everywhere. Yeah, it does. And it's, you know what I find funny? This was once the security area, and now it's it's been... Um, now security that are given by the town council or like the city council right. work there again it's like this weird surreal kind of replication yeah yeah because there were a lot of problems with people just creating i don't know i think drugs and fights and stuff and well, so that's what's, how they justified it anyway. so what happens in this space loads of workshops so we can go by now and see the, the announcement board which is like dance uh, a lot of cultural stuff, it's not a very political space. I mean, you don't hear about a lot of, I don't know, like, uh, you wouldn't hear of people raising money for strikes or for, it's more just like the fun stuff, you know, like yoga, all this stuff I'll show you now. Arts and stuff. Arts, yeah. Arts so this is culture. here. This okay, is what yeah. you've got. You've got dance, you've got classes. Of so loads of workshops, basically. Yeah. Now let's just um, okay. get these of the... It says here it's not updated, so check the website. Right, yeah. What is the website? Tabacalera.net uh, Say that again? Tabacalera.net How do you spell that? T-A-B-A-C-A-L-E-R-A.net uh, .net, okay. And then this is like the main space. Right, so this is like an event space basically yeah they have the concerts and stuff here great space and we're gonna go downstairs to the basement to to see if my friend is here collecting her vegetables i assume all this artwork on the wall has been done by the people that are based here the yeah. people live here as well no 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 okay yeah i found a lot of the best the best squats in terms of best for the local community in are London are the ones that people don't live in. You're right. Because yeah. otherwise you get the, an, an, an additional conflict of yeah, this is absolutely, our home. Absolutely, absolutely. And this like feeling of someone being in someone's space. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So this That's is huge, isn't it? It's unbelievable. So imagine this was a tobacco factory. And they they you know, when the when this this building actually lay abandoned once before, and I think it was um, just when Madrid, when was it? It was Charles III, I think. Anyway, there was the war, Napoleonic War, and they lay abandoned afterwards. And the women, the local women in the neighborhood came oh, yeah, here yeah. to make cigarettes and sell them illegally. So they used these basements once upon a time. In right. A, like, in a really, kind of... The I way it was kind of meant to be yeah, used. Yeah, right? so it has got a really interesting history. This is... Oh, I should have put the flash have, like, on. Skaters and stuff. It's a bit dark out here. We're going to take a left because there's, uh, there's a lot of kind of wet building I was telling you about. Well, the flash is on. <laughs> yeah, very much so. 
people are going to be like, please. Who's that? This is the, the, herb, the growing. This is the veggie. Right, I mean, nice, it's not very, like, it's better than it was. Like, each time it's getting bigger, their garden. But yeah, there's a fair amount of veg there. Yeah. A nice scarecrow. Yeah, there's some more here, too. There's, like, boxes. They're mostly uh, courgettes. Yeah, they grow really Calab well here. What's that? Cal um, calabathine? Yeah. It could be calabaza. They're really similar plants, apparently. Someone this looks like strawberries. But yeah, it does, doesn't it? Nothing happening there at the moment. A bit late for them. Well, you can't really see here, but here's a lovely sort of courtyard with loads of people sitting around yeah, having a lovely time around a tree. And lots more... Uh, lots more rape plants growing in. There's a bar 